Hi, I'm Josh from Apt. If you have a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air or an iMac or a Mac Pro and you want to connect to another display or TV using HDMI, you've got a few, a few methods available. One is, if you're lucky, like a MacBook Pro, you'll have direct HDMI. In which case, there's nothing involved. Just plug in the HDMI here, plug in the HDMI cable into your other TV or monitor, and you're done. So that one's easy. Not everything has built-in HDMI. But what you'll see across the board is Mini DisplayPort, which is the same physical size as Thunderbolt. So Mini DisplayPort, there's two adapters here from Connects that we sell at app.com. This iAdapt connector plugs right into your Mini DisplayPort, which is your Thunderbolt, and audio and video will pass through HDMI. So if you have an old computer and you have a, a, an actual mini display port, not Thunderbolt, it's not likely audio will pass. So you can make the connections and there's no audio on your TV. Or if you do have Thunderbolt and you plug it in and run your HDMI cable, but you hear no audio, just go to System Preferences, choose Sound, and go to the Output. Make sure it has selected HDMI. It might still be on internal or it might not be set up to actually utilize the output. Or if you don't want to buy a cable, if you don't have a cable and you have to buy this plus a cable, it might not make sense. So, Connex has a mini display port to HDMI all-in-one 10-foot cable. And that might be the most uh, appropriate for price. And then, same thing, plug in the mini display port right into your mini display port or Thunderbolt connection. Run the HDMI to your monitor or your TV. And that's it. You're good to go. Go to Settings, Display, and that way we can control what goes where. We have another video that goes real in-depth on how to control your Mac monitors when you have dual monitors. Check it out, and let's hear some comments at app.com.